boys and girls, welcome back. How are you doing today? I'm Mrs. Kiefer, your reading coach, and I am super excited because I'm back again with another poem and some more digraphs that we're gonna be working on this week. Now, this week, we are gonna be working on two more digraphs, and we're gonna talk about that first. Now, remember last week, Mrs. Kiefer said that digraphs are just some funny word but basically when two special sounds get together, they make one new sound. And this week, the digraphs that we're gonna be talking about are CH and w WH. CH, when those two letters get together, they are gonna make the CH sound. CH, it's kind of fun to say. Can you go ahead and give it a try? I wanna hear you say CH, CH. All right, good job. All right, when CH get together, they make the CH sound, like in chain, or cherry, or chalk. Now, can you think of any other CH words? I was thinking of the word chunk. That CH comes at the front of the word. Now remember, chunk, that means like a big piece of something, like chunk. Another word that we can make with CH. Now remember, CH can come at the beginning of the word. That digraph can also come at the end of the word, like in the word brunch. Brunch, brunch. Brunch is kind of like that meal that's in between breakfast and lunch. It's not quite breakfast, it's not quite lunch, it's in the middle, it's brunch, okay? So that's the first digraph we're gonna be talking about, CH. The other one that I wanna to talk to you guys about is WH. Now, WH makes the whoo sound, whoo sound. You kind of wanna make your mouth almost like you're blowing out a candle and make the whoo, as in, W ale, whale, w isle, w whisker. What are some other WH blends that you can think of? Whale, whistle, whisker. I was thinking of the word witch. Like, which way did that dog run? And if you notice, I also see that CH blend in, the wit in that word, which it's got two digraphs in it. So, which, I was also thinking of the word where, where, where are my toys, where? So this week in the poem that we're about to read in just a second, you are gonna see a lot of CH and WH ch and w blends. So let's go ahead, we're gonna read this poem together and talk about it. And then we are gonna look for some of these digraphs that we just talked about. All right, the poem this week is called Chippy the Chipmunk. Let's read this together. Chippy the chipmunk wakes up at dawn. He chases the squirrels off the lawn. Why? What was his plan? To gather a bunch of nuts for his chipmunk clan. Check this branch or that one, but whatever you do, don't leave a nut around for the squirrels to chew. You may need a wheelbarrow or a cart with four wheels. It will be worth it when your family squeals. Cheers for Chippy, hip hip hooray. This is going to be a cheery day. All right, I uh, hopefully you saw a lot of CH digraphs in this poem. I know I found a ton. I even saw some WH ones as well. But let's talk about this poem. Now, we know the main character in this poem was Chippy the Chipmunk. Now, where was the setting in this poem? Where was Chippy the Chipmunk? 
it sounds like he was outside maybe on his lawn and he was climbing up a tree because I saw tree branches. And what was he trying to do? He was trying to catch, to gather some things. What was Chippy looking for? Yeah, he was trying to get a bunch of nuts to eat, to take to his family, right? Because he's gathering, we know that those chipmunks like to gather up all of those nuts to eat. All right, very good. So, I told you we are going to be looking for some of those CH and WH digraphs. I'll give you a second if you think you can find them all. Go ahead and do so now, and then we'll check and see if you're right. There's a ton. You ready to see if we got them all? All right, let's see if we can find them. Here we go. Obviously, we know in the title, Chippy the Chipmunk, I see those CH blends right there, even in the first word here. Here's Chippy and that CH Chipmunk again. I found it in that word ch 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 aces. I found my next digraph, that W H Y W W Y and what I see at the end of the word bunch, I see that C H bunch, ch C H and chipmunk again, ch ch in the word check. The word branch, that ch, ch, ch comes at the end. In the word wh whatever, I see that digraph at the beginning of the word whatever. Here's the one, the word chew, ch for ch, ch, chew. And even wh wh wheelbarrow, that wh at the beginning of the word wheelbarrow. Wh wh wheels. Cheers, C-H, cheers, ch chippy. And finally, that word ch ch cheery. Now, hopefully, Mrs. Kiefer got them all. This week, your goal is to read all of this poem by yourself. If you can videotape yourself reading it, awesome. Try and send it to your teacher. I know she would love to see you reading this by yourself. Another thing that you can be working on this week is working on in your independent reading. Go ahead and see how many digraphs, CH and WH, the W and CH, that you can go ahead and try and find and see if you can make a list in your notebook. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.